the best weight loss diet for women. What's up everybody, Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit and we specialize in the belly burn program. So the top three things that you need to do is number one, it has to be flexible, that it takes a little bit of planning and that I would tell you to eat less when you're busy and eat more when you have time or if you have parties. So I'm gonna break this down step by step. So number one is that your meal plan has to be flexible. So you gotta allow the foods that you actually enjoy because if you just focus on lean protein and vegetables, eventually that's gonna get super boring. So if you like your carbs, you like your snacks, whatever it is, it has to be worked into your meal plan. Number two is that yes, you do have to do some planning ahead of time. What I would recommend is that you plan at least 25% of your calories that you plan to consume the day after the day of. So to plan today for tomorrow. How does that work? Always focus on protein, 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 okay? The hardest things that we have is to eat proper protein. So if you're a busy person, then what I'd recommend is that you plan at least two shakes a day, okay? Now my recommendation is to actually double it up. Some gurus out there will tell you that you can only process so much protein at once, but if it's a choice between protein, carbs, or fats, I would tell you always go with the protein. So do your two shakes a day and do two scoops per serving with water and right then and there you're at 60 grams per serving hitting 120 grams of protein on the day. For most people I'd recommend to at least get one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So pre-plan that in MyFitnessPal ahead of time so that at least you got 25% of your calories planned. And then third is that you should be eating less when you're busy and then eat more when you have time. Usually Monday through Friday, we're all super busy. We've got things going on throughout the entire day. And a lot of times we actually just force ourselves to eat. But if you're not hungry, the first thing I would tell you is don't eat. The body will respond how it needs to. And if you're like me, the weekends is where my calories go way up. So Monday through Friday, why am I forcing food down? Even if Monday, Tuesday, all I had was two protein shakes, so four, technically four, then you know Wednesday I had a little bit more calories but I'm still not hungry. Thursday, Friday rolls around, by Friday night I'm a little bit hungrier but remember, because you were in a massive caloric deficit on Monday through Thursday, that if you actually had a cheat meal or you went crazy on a bag of popcorn or nuts or whatever it is, you still have that flexibility because we wanna look at this as a seven day span, not just day to day. So if you under ate one day, and then you overeat the other, as long as you're still under your total caloric burn, you're still gonna see a drop in weight and you're gonna see a drop in fat. So if you went Monday through Thursday where you only ate like 800 calories, really for most of us, that's all we need. I've eaten less and I was fine, okay? And I work out, play tennis, and we do it a lot with our belly burners where we try and time their calories based on their rest days. It's the rest days where we have time off, where we're, you know, we start to get into the snacking, where we overeat. So if we're busy Monday through Friday, don't force the food down. Save all your calories for the back end. You're probably gonna get even fuller that you're not even gonna be able to eat all those calories anyways, which is a good thing because in the end, you're gonna be into a caloric deficit. So what I've done, if you look at the notes section, I broke down what a week should look like for you where it breaks down Mondays and Tuesdays and how a Saturday is kind of like a carb refeed with the high calories. So the simple version of this, go low calorie, high protein, Monday through Thursday. Friday nights, you can start to reintroduce some of those carbs, but don't go crazy, have one big carb meal and that's it. And then Saturday, Sunday, it's gonna allow you a little bit more flexibility for calories and carbs. Now, if you're also looking for a boost in the healthy habit column, then what I've done is provided a link into the comments section and you're gonna see that it has a Fit Club five days of healthy habits link. Click that, enter your email, and I'll fire that right over to you guys. So I'm Coach RJ of www.fitclub.fit. We specialize in the belly burn shred program. So if you're interested, visit us online. If you're a current member, make sure you get on that list for the next challenge and we'll see you on the next video.